about we check the cupboards for some biscuits? Maybe some chocolate ones, yeah. Simon, listen to me. Both Leanne and your daddy love you. Shut up. Oh, now, Simon. Why did you want to take me too? I'm sure she did. But you've got us and your daddy. I hate daddy. Four optics need a change in here. Now that is what you get for leaving the pub with amateurs. I'll tell Betty you said that. Hmm. Mm. Quite way along than that. How was she? Well, you know, lots safe for yourself as usual. But mm -hmm. Did she kick off? Oh, what? We told her jobs for neat, all right. We don't want to work in here no more. Ch I thought you were talking about Amy. Do you remember her about this big, usually covered in ice cream? Oi, 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 oi. Don't you go saying I don't care about our Amy. If I was my little mate. No, she's fine. Desperate to see you. Good. Because right. me and all. You didn't say upstairs, did you? I can just tell by that look in your flipping face. Well, I didn't get much chance. She pitched up, said hi, and then took Amy swimming. I thought it would pop in late. With uh, Amy, so uh, she can see you. Oh, just for me. Yeah, right. With a flying pig escort. Right. You said two minutes. I'm coming with you. To the station. You're already late. Can't worry about your ages. Oh, stuff that. Well, I'm only going to be hanging about. I'm not meeting at all till six. Well, go later then. Jan, please. Just go back to work. You've hardly got out. Yeah, well, I tell you, can lend me stuff. You're going to be cold, aren't you? You know, you need a proper coat, a warm coat. Right. No, no, Jan, Jan, please, I don't want your money. Don't go away. Oh, Simon. It's too quick for him. It'd be better if I were dead. Leanne! Well, for him it would. How? Oh, that boy's lost his mother once. Yeah. But she didn't walk out on him, did she? He's never going to doubt how much she loved him. So stay and sort it with Peter. OK, uh, we're two. You need to be here in each other's orbit. It's your only chance. Oh, no. Um, station, please. But there's always a way. We've both just got to start again. It's not only Simon who won't cope, you know. Ken, please don't. Just stop it. I'm going. I can't torture that poor kid anymore. I'll touch myself. I'm sorry. Bye, John. I'll talk to her. If she changes her mind, then straight back here, yeah? And nobody had any idea about any of this? No! No, yeah, well, you know, Nick, you know, obviously. Yeah, and, you know, he's been pretending to be a mate of Peter's now. That is going to hurt. That is going to hurt being stabbed in the back like that by your mate. Hmm? Oh, and listen, Tracy, she didn't look surprised. Tracy, mm -hmm. why is her name always at the epicentre of trouble? Well, that sounded heartfelt. Yes. Oh, uh, great holiday. Smooth flight home, mm -hmm. and the minute I step foot into number one, turbulence starts. I kept expecting oxygen masks fall from the ceiling. Hmm. What's to go back? I have more holiday. Yeah, well, it feels like Amy's slipping away as it is. For what? Listen, you and Tracy, you share custody, right? Well, we've got nothing down for right? Yeah, but you, you shared, right? It's joint. Yeah, but it's complicated. Well, what's complicated? Listen, you just said that you want Amy here more, otherwise you're going to see her in court. Now, any judge is going to be on your side. Why? Because you were the one that brought Amy out while she was in prison. Now, where is her case? Yeah. Uh, you're too OK, are they? You too. Oh, no, no, they're fine. Except when they're going to shop and then Ali's convinced that there's going to be a tram coming through, you know? Right, yeah, well, it must be tough for him, seeing what Sunita went through. Yeah, I don't know, man. She says she's feeling bad, but still she should take it easy. I don't like her exerting herself yet. Mm. Well, I think of what might have happened, it's hard for me to let them out of my sight. Go on. You know, if that Tracy was getting between me and my family, the more than caught she'd have to worry about, let me tell you. Hi, oh. yeah. Hi, darling, you all right? Where's she? 
Oh, she's uh, just getting a key cut and then she's coming here. Oh. Uh, she's a right giddy kipper. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, have you uh, seen this? She did it on an art course. She did it? Yeah. Wow. You learn a lot about a person when you spring them from an overpriced bedsit. Anyway, um, most of her stuff's at ours now. Um, have you, uh, have you said out to him? Yeah. yeah. Do you not think they should tell him that someone's stopping at the flat? Oh, no. It's not so bad. It's not to do with him. Yeah, I know, but he's been really good to us and I don't think he'll have a problem with it, you know? I just feel really dishonest not saying out. She's gone to the station. This really is your last chance. Last chance for what? To phone her to change your mind. And why would I want to do that? Oh, so what happens next? You blunder around, trying not to drink, hoping to find someone else, someone exactly like Leanne? Yeah, maybe somebody with a little less whore in her, eh? Oh, well, she was lucky to find a saint when she stumbled on you. I'm not having this conversation, no. Leanne is the best thing that happened to you and Simon. She's done everything for you two. Oh, yeah, she was a real multitasker. Good point, give her that. And you gave her a public flogging, isn't that enough? People get over these things. They get stronger. Oh, this is the bit where you tell me that you and Deirdre are living, breathing examples of that. We are. Yeah, well, <laughs> your heart must have swelled with pride when you saw us snogging Lewis on CCTV. That's not fair. Look, if you're so bothered, why don't you run after her yourself? In fact, why don't you have a crack at her? That's pathetic. No, really, go on, fill your boots. Deirdre won't mind. Not for long, anyway. What the hell gives you the right to sit in judgment on other people? I could say the same to you. Yeah, well, Deirdre and I worked hard to stay together because what we've got is worth it. And you're not just you, you know. You're you and Simon and Leanne. He's good for Simon, yeah, no. Actually, sorry, you're right. Where's my phone? I'll call her. I'll stay with her for Simon, especially for Simon. That's not what I'm saying. A bit different to what you did, eh? Dumping me and Susan so you could be with women. Yeah. You think you're better than me? On this. I do, actually, yeah. I always did what I thought was right because I loved you. Shame you won't be able to say the same thing to Simon when he's your age. Meaning what? Meaning what? Well, it looks about... <laughs> Sorry, I was just about to say. Nail looks finished on it. Dev reckons nearly ready to open. Oh, that's good, ain't it? How are you? Did you talk to your dad? I tried to. And? Well, like everybody else, he thinks he knows what's best for me without even listening to what I want. And what do you want? I don't know. He's only trying to help. You'll see once you made your decision about the college. He'll be right behind you. Yeah, um, I was just wondering, you know when you uh, reopen? Please can I have some more shifts. Ask me when you've made your mind up about college. I don't want to let it sway your decision. Oh, it won't sway my decision. I'm just trying to see what options are available to me. Oi! You get Simon out here now. Deirdre's settling in there. I don't care. You get him out here, he's coming Later. with me. Nobody stands in my flat and tells me that I don't love my son. I didn't say that. Simon! I said you've got it wrong. Because I refuse to be treated like dirt. Because you refuse to see things for what they are. You saw the state that Simon was in. Don't you think you owe it to him to at least try to find a way through? You think I shouldn't have pride? Oh, is pride worth throwing everything away for? Losing someone who loves you? Pity, that's all it is. That's all it ever was. Rubbish. She married me because of pity and you know it. That's rubbish. You think I should be grateful? I don't. Because I'm worth no, some crippled soak. Look, Leanne loves you. Who should just accept the scraps that Nick Tilsley's thrown away and be grateful. She loves you. Simon! I want my son. You tell me one thing she's done to you that you haven't done worse to someone else, to her even. Come on, one thing. You think she's not good enough for you. Going for a drink? Why not? Peter, Peter. You could forgive her, that's all I'm saying. She hurt you terribly. What she did was wrong, but it was a mistake. How could she prove that to you hundreds of miles away? She can only prove it with you. You can forgive her, Peter. I loved her. I loved her. I loved her. I know. I loved her. Come. 
Yes, love. Run to Euston, please. And when are you coming back? I'm not. I knew I'd lose her one day. I always assumed it would be me that messed up. It normally is. You haven't lost her. When I was drinking, I thought I could have any woman I wanted. But sober, I couldn't see why anyone would want to cock up like me. And Leanne said she did. I believed her. I thought I'd found the perfect woman, Dad. He found a human being. Flawed, yeah. Capable of messing up just as badly as you, which she has. But who loves you? Genuinely. Then why? I don't understand. Well, if I believed for one minute that she was with you out of pity or that she was cynical about you or anything, I'd be cheering her onto that train. I just can't forgive her. You're not easy, Peter. You've said it yourself. And, yeah, of course she'll have had doubts. It wouldn't be human otherwise. Nick took advantage. But he was only ever about the past. I honestly believe that. I don't know. I don't know. Leanne loves you. She chose you. And she deeply regrets what she's done. You need each other. And I'm sure you can find a way through if you'll just let yourself. I need to talk to Leanne. Look, she knows you didn't mean what you said, love. You were very upset. I need to talk to her. Maybe you can both talk to her if she doesn't get on that train. Hiya. Forgotten to my... Oh, I'm sorry. Hiya. How was your holiday? I meant Amy. Steve said you were bringing her. Really? He didn't say out to me. He said, come in. Must be about the rota. What, you mean the light? Who's minding Amy rota? Quite witty, really, aren't you? It just takes a bit of spotting. <laughs> well, then I just don't know what rota you're on about. Oh. Did Steve not tell you? Yeah, that's right, cos, like, you rushed off swimming, hasn't it? We're fully staffed, love. Soz. Star and everything, now. Yeah. It's all right. My pleasure. Actually quite enjoyed it. I mean, it's hardly rocket science, but it's a pleasant little job. And me and Tina got on great, didn't we, T? Oh, she is lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd not sell my kid to her. But she's nice enough. You all right? Yeah, red wine when you're ready. I'm early. For Steve. No problem. That's nice. Yep. Hey, listen, I mentioned about not uh, knocking nails into walls, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, all that sticky stuff, it pulls off the plastic. Yeah. Tina, I was just saying about uh, protecting the walls, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. We yeah. didn't put anything up, have we, Greg? Good. Sheen. What? I'm um, sorry, we, we, we put Sheen up. We're not. Um, no, no, but we're going to put Sheen up? Yeah, not in a nails into walls way, more in a spare room. Kind of way. Uh, oh, in a subletting kind um, of way. No, no, uh, nil spondulis. No, um, Dad. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. Um, it's dead side, yeah. actually. She's, um, she's, she's been kicked out <laughs> by a landlord. Hey, Tina, red wine? Yeah, well, mm. we were going to ask you. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah you have. Uh, yeah. And I appreciate it, and the answer is uh, no, you can't. Sorry it took so long. I had to get just the right key ring. Sheen, we don't live at number eight. It's lucky. Look, eight is lucky, red is lucky. Double lucky. And you two are double lucky for me. Things run much more efficiently when I was here. I'm going to serve myself. Sit down, I'm on it. Red wine. Tina! Bah! You'll be all right in the front. Yeah. Phone him, mate. Tell not to get on that train. I've tried. Switched off. Great. I get a busy bar, you get a peacefully sleeping child on your ship. 
Oh, hello. Did you tell her to fetch our aim around? Uh, yes. No, I'm sure I... I'm sure I did, did I not ask No, you, to you didn't. Not out loud. You asked me to come in. I assumed it was to talk about the rotor. Though you can surprise me with a pay rise if you prefer. This wasn't permanent. <clears throat> no. Really? No. no. It was more of a cover. I could do cover. As long as I'm covering most days. I will be looking for something else better, obviously. But you know how expensive it is keeping a growing child in footwear? Oh, even without the kind of overhead your angelic sleeping boy attracts. I'm getting tired of this, Tracy. Baby, are you serving or are you going upstairs? Tina! Dev, it's, it's only because you showed us such humanity letting us rent the flat in the first place that we thought that you should be the first to see us spread that humanity, you know, karmic, if you like. <laughs> karmic. Mm. The flat's big enough. Okay, what if we do for a month? You can come out and inspect whenever you want, and I bet, if anything, the flat feels better. If you can stay. <laughs> Yay! High five! Yeah. Just, 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 just listen. There's going to be three of you in there now. You won't know the difference. Hey, shall I help with drinks? Well, there is one way I will, for the increase in rent. Oh, no. Yeah, there's going to be three of you. Right, wear and tear. Increase. Such. 200 a month. Seems competitive. Tina, can you serve, please? Yeah, um, but it's not going to cost you any more if she's living there. Yeah, and where are we going to find an extra 200? Well, I don't know. Why don't you start by asking your subtenant? I won't be staying. I'm sorry to cause you trouble. Oh, mate, look, no, listen, Jenny's not Don't you. fall out with him. You know, they're lovely people. Yeah. The loveliest. Jean! I'm taking my break. You said I could take an hour. An hour? If you were quiet. It's not quiet. Don't panic. Reinforcements? No, we don't need you. Uh, look, one of us has got to look after Max. Oh, I can do that. Whoa, no, 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 no. Look, you can cover for Tina for an hour. No, I can call Betty. Yeah, and how long is that going to take? Look, an hour. That is all. Look, I am so going to work here, so just roll over and accept it. This was clear. Phone still switched off. But leave a message. Yeah? And, and say what? Say, don't get on that train. Oh, have you changed your mind? Look, how was she? I mean, you know, how did she seem? She was in bits. What if I can't forgive her, Lloyd? What if I get there and I... And, and what? You're still angry? Well, you may be. The difference is now you want to work through it, don't you? Oh, now what? All right. Great. What's wrong with it? Oh. Right, don't worry, I'll get a black cab. Mate, mate, mate! Now we know what we want, don't we? Let's just hope we're not too late. Jean! We'll haggle. I'm great at haggling. Yeah, we'll sort something else out. Yeah, we'll start at minus 200 quid and end on naught pounds. You've been very kind. Emily and Rita's let us stay with them for a bit. A bit if we ask. Yeah. No, I don't want to. We'll sort it, please. No. We want you to stay with us. Yeah, I'm, I'm already thinking of ingenious ways of hanging this up without nails. I want you to have it. To remember me, darling. Thank you for everything. I'll phone you. Would it be to give us just the tiniest scrap of dignity? No, oh, Tracy won't be working here for long, I promise. I said she was looking for somewhere else. She's looking for another crack around the back of the head. What was the matter to say? No. You say no, Tracy. Soz, I am drawing the line here. Listen to me, all I ever seem to do is kick off. No, we'll stop kicking off then. But it's your fault, Steve. Can you not see that? You, you make a decision, but then you change the rules. Baby, I don't want her working here. What do you think please. I do? But... Well, just say no to her then. Oh, yeah, what, and have a move away like she said she would? She said she might. Well, then when do I get to see Amy? I wish we were back on that beach, don't you? 
Maxi obsessing over finding blue shells, bless him. No clouds, no fretting, no tracy fucking barlow. Listen, that beach is still there right now, waiting for us to get back to it. Things aren't going to be this bad forever, it's just now. What with my mother away and all the stress over trying to get this flipping loan. Oh, well, that answers my pay rise question. Bummer. Tina came in, but she was a right stress head, so I said I'd finish her shift and the bitter one's changing, Steve. Right. Oh, and I've written down on the rotor all the shifts I can work around childcare, obviously. Right. And I'm joined by Kings of Comedy Jason Byrne and Russell Kane, Pop Princess Paloma Faith, and the Queen herself, Dame Edna Everidge. Don't miss it. Comedy Rocks with Jason Manford is next.